Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 27th Commitments of Traders Report of 2022. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those of you who are new to COT analysis. Here at cotbase.com, you'll find a lot of educational material, not only in written format, but we have some very useful videos as well. These videos will guide you through the analysis process, explaining to you the basics of COT analysis. Okay, back to the review and starting off with our first market, which will be the Brazilian Real. As you can see, it is on top of our list based on a 52 week look back period uh, and uh, largest change in commercials and net positions. So you can see 31% change over there and you can uh, see that on this red chart of course they are uh, red uh, line represents commercials net positions green large speculators net positions and then of course we have small speculators in blue so this is this recent change and if you look at it compared to the last let's say six months it is possibly the largest change if you look at it on a one year time frame let's say top three uh but the first uh or the major uh, uh, largest COT change signal if you are comparing it to bullish COT change signals. Now, the only um, sad news is that it is coming after a strong Thursday and Friday. So the, the signal could be a little bit late for us to act upon. It does suggest further strengthening in the next couple of days. We'll see what happens. Moving on to the five years chart, you can see that we were in a more of a bearish extreme zone in the past couple of months now and we have suddenly moved away from that are we at a bullish extreme no not yet uh you can see the most bullish cot extremes on this chart back over here from october of 2019. the next market that we're going to have a, a look at is cocoa where we have a 23 percent change in commercials and net positions this can be seen easily on this one year's chart greater than average we have seen similar changes in the past again it is pointing upwards suggesting some uh, higher prices coming in the near term moving on to the five years chart you can see uh, that we are definitely uh, in a more bullish cot extreme zone so you can see what happened to the market the last time we had such an extreme that was december of last year uh, we had a, a more significant bullish extreme back over here in july of that year and you can see very well that these bullish extremes in cocoa seem to be effective so this just simply suggests that maybe not today uh, or the next couple of uh, days maybe weeks but it does suggest we should see a bottoming pattern here in Cocoa and see in the medium to high, uh, medium to longer run, uh, higher prices coming. The next market will be the gasoline market. 22% change over there uh, in, uh, in, in uh, commercials net positions. Let's switch to the one year's chart. You can see a more significant uh, change in net, uh, traders net positions. Uh, again, suggesting some strengthening in the next few days moving on to the five years chart you can see that we are at a significant extreme uh, commercials at 261 report extreme a large speculators at an even greater extreme 616 report extreme suggesting uh, we should be seeing even greater prices coming in the future moving our attention to large speculator cot extreme analysis we have we still have the south african rand on top of the list with an all-time cot extreme suggesting even weaker prices to come so of course one might ask how can that be when you're actually seeing a downward trend in the market these things do happen uh, you always want to ask yourself could this be a commercial capitulation where simply margin calls force um commercials to be acting in this manner um i don't necessarily think that's the case um but it is interesting not seeing traders shifting their positions uh in the manner that they do in other markets uh gasoline we talked about we're going to jump over that one and look at platinum with 198 report extreme in large speculators position this of course is a unquestionable bullish extreme simply looking at the chart it is visible easily 
to naked eye. So it is a bullish extreme suggesting higher prices coming uh, in this market. And last but definitely not least, crude oil, the WTI crude oil here in our review with 181 report extreme in large speculators positions. This of course, again, a bullish COT extreme suggesting higher prices in the medium to long run. Um, we're not surprised to see this because gasoline was just showing us a very similar picture. And of course, these markets do correlate with each other. So that's all for our short review. Of course, these are just snippets. Uh, if you want to check more out uh, other markets, for, for instance, so we only show you a few market categories in these reviews or uh, are interested in the newest CO2 report types or other data types, then you can definitely do that here at cotbase.com. Uh, if you want to dig deeper in your analysis and add other tools to your uh, analysis, then you can definitely do that. You can look at the COT index. You can define the look back period to anything you wish. Uh, the COT move index, we have the long term trend indicator. You can also analyze volume and open interest here. Uh, if you want to analyze a specific market, so we talked about the South African RAND, and if you really want to go into the details, then you can do that here. Of course, as you may see, a lot of data to analyze. You can not only look at it in a table format, but you do have the option of uh, opening charts uh, and, of course, uh, looking at specific uh, data types. Uh, you can download these, export the data. So there's so much to do here. Um, and if you would like, you can actually have a look at our indicators as well. The COT Base Pro, including everything that you see uh, in these reviews, um, so you get the website access, but you also have a tool that you can uh, use in NinjaTrader uh, and analyze COT reports there. We also have the ICOT Intraday Indicator, which is a more newer indicator that we developed after many years of research and it is a wonderful tool for those who trade in the shorter time frame. I should point out this is data not from CFTC. So as you can see, we've got these uh, these uh, COT uh, chart lookalikes. They're actually uh, our ICOT scores. And uh, what they do is they, you know, they help us analyze the market in the near run, but you use the same concept as in classic COT analysis. So it's like measuring extremes, right? Uh, but I should point out, this is uh, an example of gold on a one minute candlestick chart. Uh, and so that just simply shows to you that how, you know, short term we can go. This actually goes even to the uh, few seconds um, as well. Not necessarily something uh, you want to do, but uh, you can, of course. And um, there's a lot of explanation here at co2base.com so that you better understand how to look at these signals and scores as well. I thank you very much for being with me in this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you guys a very pleasant weekend and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.